last lecture we discussed how to represent a digital image and in this video we discuss image sampling and quantization also what is analog images and uh, digital images and how we convert analog image to digital image so images have become a very important part of our lives we tend to take photographs of every occasion to remember them but the pictures that we take are mostly analog images. So what is analog images? When we capture the image of an object, we use image sensors to sense the incoming light and to form the image. Image sensor convert the incoming light from an object into electrical signals that can be stored and viewed later. These analog signals are continue the images are stored in an analog form such the image formed has continued variation in the tone. So the images that we capture have continued signals. We cannot process analog images by the computer. Analog signals contain infinite points and we need infinite memory to store them. We need to convert analog images into digital images to store and process by the computer. So first we need to convert analog image into digital image to process them by the computer. Because we cannot uh, process the continue uh, image or continue signals by the computer. So how to convert analog image to a digital image? An analog image is converted to a digital image by digitalizing the analog signals and for this we use sampling and quantization process and in this process we convert analog signals to a digital form. In this picture we have three images. First is analog image and uh, this is image that we captured from our cameras and uh, it consists of continuous signals. But as we know, we cannot process the continuous signals by the computer because it requires infinite storage. So we need to convert it into digital signals or a digital form. This image is a digital sampling uh, in a digital sampling form and we can uh, see each pixel is different from each other and uh, we can clearly see the uh, color of each pixel. And uh, this image is a pixel quantization form and uh, it can, each pixel consists of a value. So a digital image is formed by arranging pixels in row and columns. Each pixel has a particular integral value as we see in this image uh, each pixel has a particular value. The computer process the integral values and show us, uh, show us that pixel. The process by which continuous signal convert into the digital form is known as digitalization. So in digital image processing, signal captured from the physical world need to be translated into digital form by digitalization. In order to become suitable for digital processing, an image function fxy must be digitalized both spatial x and y and in amplitude. In this x and y are the coordinate and f is the amplitude function. The digitalization process involves two main processes called sampling and quantization. These uh, two processes involve in the digitalization uh, of an image. So what is sampling? Digitalizing the coordinate value is called sampling and digitalizing the amplitude value is known as quantization. So what is image sampling? Image sampling is a process of converting an uh, analog signal into a discrete values. So the process in which we uh, divide the continuous signal into discrete values or intervals is called sampling. In layman term, we can say that sampling is a process of recording an analog signal at regular interval of time. In this image, we can see the difference. This is the analog signals mean continue signal that way with time and uh, the value is continue but this is sampling function in this uh, we divided the signals into discrete manner 
and uh, the value of uh, each interval is different from the other so this is a regular interval of time and uh, the signal have their own value and they are different from each other and in this image this uh, uh, this is a continue image uh, that contain continuous signals and uh, known as analog image and this is a sampling function and uh, this image consists of uh, uh, each pixel is different from other and have their discrete values with the regular interval of time what is image quantization after sampling the analog signal we uh, will apply qu quantization so the process that we applied after the sampling process on the analog signal is called quantization quantization digitalize the amplitude of sampled signal uh, the signals that uh, uh, are converted after the sampling process are known as sampled signal so quantization is done by a rounding of the amplitude of each sample and then assigning a different value according to its amplitude mean in quantization uh, we assign values to each pixel to uh, each coordinate point according to their own functions according to their uh, own properties each value will represent a different color tone so according to color tone we assign value according to their properties according to their uh, characteristics we apply uh, values to their uh, coordinates to, uh, to their points so uh, this is a, a graph show the quantization level and uh, in this each interval have dif uh, different values like uh, uh, suppose uh, here we assign value 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, each interval according to their uh, scale point have their different values and uh, if we assign the color tone on on this scale then each interval have their own color tone and uh, their own values and uh, here we can see how analog signals are converted into the digital signals first analog signals uh, here we have analog signals that vary with time and uh, voltage and we convert them by sampling process into discrete signals uh, and uh, time discrete signals after discrete signals uh, by quantization process they converted into the digital signals and uh, here we can also see a quantization process and this is quantized image in which uh, here we don't have value of discrete signal but uh, in this graph we can see the value of uh, each interval each point so this is quantized image and uh, after sampling process converted into the digital signals so the process of digitalizing analog signal into the digital signals is called sampling and quantization first we apply sampling and after this we apply quantization so how grayscale image formed after combining different valued pixels so each pixel is assigned a integer value after quantization we can see the integer values there are different integer values of each pixel and uh, each number represent a different shade of gray uh, in this picture we can say different uh, shade of colors they are gray color but uh, they have different tones uh, and uh, have their own different number uh, integer number the collection of these pixels will form the image so in this example there are 256 quantization levels 0 to 256 quantization levels making this image so this is the way in which uh, integers or in these pixels combine together with the different values to make a grayscale image so what is the difference of sampling and quantization sampling establish the number of pixels in a digital image while quantization establishes the color of each pixel. Sampling digitalizes the analog signal on x-axis, while quantization digitalizes color on y-axis. An analog signal amplitude value is noted at predetermined interval during sampling, while in quantization, the amplitude values are rounded off and the values are given. 
Sampling process is carried out before quantization, but quantization is carried out following sampling. So the first process that we applied is sampling and the second process is quantization. Sampling used to determine the number of pixels in the digital image, while quantization is a process of assigning color to each pixel. And uh, quantization is carried out on y-axis, but uh, sampling is carried out on x-axis. Here we have some questions I hope uh, that are helpful for your understanding. Is quantization done after sampling? So yes, quantization is done after sampling. Quantization is the reverse of sampling. Through the process of quantization, a real valued sampled image is converted to one that only accepted a limit set of distinct value. Also, image amplitude values are digitalized. So first we um, determine the number of pixels in the image and after this we assign color to the each pixel. And next is what are the type of image quantization? So image quantization also have its two types. So there are two different kind of quantization, uniform and non-uniform. So a uniform quantization is a kind of quantization in which a quantization level are consistently spaced. I mean they have their consistent uh, space, they, ha they have their consistent interval. Non-uniform quantization is a sort of quantization in which the quantization levels are mismatched and their relationship are often uh, logarithmic means uh, they are they are not uniform so uh, uniform and non uniform quantization are the types of image quantization i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you thank you for your time if you have any doubts please ask in the comment box